In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to overlay a simple graphic object on top of your project. A user asked, could I do in PowerDirector what I can do in Camtasia, which is I can capture a screen and then I can use a mouse or tablet and draw something like an arrow pointing to something on the screen. Unfortunately, in PowerDirector, that's not currently available. And so, as I play my movie, what if I want to, for a second, show off this red cap and highlight that for the viewer? Can I do that anyway? Well, let me show you a workaround that uh, can accomplish that same task. It takes a couple of steps, but they're not all that complicated. So, if I were to do this, I would want to go into my title room. So I'll click my T here, and then I will drag a title to a higher numbered track. I'll pick track number two. And now I have the title. I'm going to press the F2 key to edit that. And then we'll uh, do Control A to pick it all, and I'll just highlight his cap, red cap. And... Uh, Highlight it again, and let's make the color of my font a darker blue. Click OK. We'll give it a little bit of a border so it will pop. And let's see what my default border is. Now my border's blue too. Let's make it uh, red. OK, so now I have my red cap. And I'm going to take my title and shrink it down. Make it somewhat smaller. And then I want to draw an arrow. Well, in this case, what I'm going to do, instead of trying to draw something with a mouse, which I can't do in the current iteration of uh, CyberLink PowerDirector, is I'm going to use an object. I'll insert an image. I'll click on Insert Image in the upper uh, left corner, the third object from the left in the preview screen. And then I downloaded an arrow from a free uh, graphics site on the web, or you could create one of your own. And I'll double click and I'll insert that. Now there's some settings I want to change instantly on this object. Um, I want to change the border, so I'll click on my border tool. And I could go ahead if I wanted to, and I could change the width of the border. Um, I could change uh, the color of the border other kinds of things like that. But there's one thing I definitely want to change, and that's object settings. So I go to my object settings with the arrow selected, and click the down arrow, and I want to turn off maintain aspect ratio. And I'll show you why that's very helpful in a moment. So I turn that off, and now it allows me to distort the arrow. I can make it uh, wider, I can make it longer if I want to, uh, or narrower or shorter, so I can change the, uh, the uh, look and feel of the arrow. The other thing I'm going to do now, now that I have my arrow, I'll move it over here, and I have the, this green circle, I can actually rotate it right about there. Okay, and we'll move it back up. And now we're pointing to the red cap. I'll take my text here and move it about here. And now I have, in effect, done a little bit of what I couldn't do because I don't have full graphic ability here. So I'll click on OK. Again, we could keyframe it. We can control the length that this, uh, these items are on the screen, my title text here. I'll shorten it a little bit because I don't want it on too long because my scene's going to change. Uh, but if I go back to the beginning of my clip and uh, then I play it, there's my red cap. And it gives me a way of uh, pointing that out in the course of my video. So if you want to overlay something like this on a video, this is one way to do it. So you can import the elements you need and apply them accordingly. Thank you.